Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about Section 8 tenants getting kicked out of their apartments in Cobb County, Georgia. Although these tenants are paying their rent, they are being terminated because the apartment complex no longer wants to accept Section 8. Do you feel like this is discrimination? Well, CBS News says this is called source of income discrimination. Let's take a look at this video. CBS 46 investigation reveals Cobb County residents are being kicked out. Many being told their apartment is no longer accepting their rent payments. Families we spoke to say it's income discrimination. Investigative reporter Sierra Cummings found it's a widespread issue in Cobb County, forcing families into homelessness. Poor people are being pushed out of Cobb. Everything Susan Miller loves had to be packed in the boxes behind her, including her husband. It was so disrespectful, you know, that I had to put him in a box, you know, and pack him away like he was nothing. This urn does not only hold his ashes, but her hope, at least what remains of it, after Azure Apartments posted this on Miller's door. Uh, basically, if you have the Section 8 voucher, we don't want it. A 60 day notice to leave. We will be terminating your current lease. Sue became homeless. It really does feel illegal because too many people are going through this. They're losing their homes. If you don't have a place to stay, then you, you know, you're losing your jobs, your car. The grandmother says she regularly paid rent of roughly $700. The letter suggests she did not get the boot because of a lack of payment, instead, because of the type of payment. We are not participating in the renewal of any MHA lease, also known as Marietta Housing Authority leases, the local division of the Federal Housing Program, or Section 8. This is so sad that she had to pack up her husband and move, and it wasn't even her fault. A lot of people think that Section 8 tenants are bad people. They also think that Section 8 tenants don't work. However, some of them do. Here is the income limit for getting Section 8 in Georgia. As you can see, some of these people are working. If you don't work, Section 8 pays all of the rent plus the light bill. If you work, they only pay a portion of the rent. Let's take a look at the rest of the video. Where are we going to go? About 10 minutes away, Mom Cynthia Johnson. It's not getting any better. It's getting worse. She relies on Section 8 too, but after 65 calls, she could not find an area apartment willing to accept it. I was on the verge of having a stroke because I've never had to experience this in my life. See, this was my problem when I was on it. I couldn't find a place to stay. I would call to the apartment. Some of the things they would tell me was, we used to accept it, but we don't accept it anymore. There is a wait list, or I would put an application in. I would call and I wouldn't get a response. Whenever I would try to get a house, it would be in the hood. If it was in a good location, someone would snatch it up really quick. And one time, somebody even tried to scam me. If they tell you they're out of town, need you to send them to the deposit, and they will mail the key to you, don't do it. It's a scam. Make sure you check the name of the owner of the house online. So I felt like God was trying to tell me to get off the program, and that's exactly what I did. Let's take a look at the rest of the video. Across the U.S., families can seek assistance to help pay for their rent. But what good is the program if landlords refuse to accept it? What good is the program if there's no penalty for refusing to accept it? Miller and Johnson's stories are no mere coincidence. Instead, it's part of a pattern we uncovered in Marietta. We went undercover and we were turned away 17 times. This is a legal form of discrimination, at least in Marietta and all of Cobb County, says Georgia State University law professor Courtney Anderson. Or if you want to kind of market your property in a certain way, you might not want to be seen as an affordable housing property, an ongoing bias about stigmatizing. And so it really complicates the safety net that's meant to put in place to protect everyone in society. Not everybody who gets Section 8 is a bad tenant. Being kicked out like Miller, being turned away like Johnson, it's illegal in the city of Atlanta, the only metro local government to have housing legislation against source of income discrimination. A law Marietta tenants have repeatedly begged for in Cobb County for the past year. Imagine one day someone knocks on your door and puts you and your kids outside with no fault of your own. Nowhere, you have nowhere to go. And we did call and leave voicemails with Azure at Riverside Apartments for comment on not renewing Miller's lease. We still have not heard back from them. We also reached out to every Cobb County commissioner, Jerika, jo 
Jerika Richardson was the only one who actually agreed to interview with us. Here's what she had to say about our findings. I think you share something that should certainly be looked at. Um, it's concerning. Things I'm interested in, in looking at is kind of a uh, residence bill of rights or a tenant's bill of rights to a certain degree, but to identify where there's real opportunity to make some a, a statement, but a statement that's enforceable. For those of you who don't know what Section 8 is, it is a program that helps low-income families, elderly people, and disabled people. Some of the benefits of having Section 8 is you know that your rent will be paid every month. You can port your voucher to different states and cities as long as they're accepting vouchers. Some of the cons are if you apply in a big city, you will be waiting forever. It is a good idea to apply in a small city or town and you will get the voucher faster. After a year of staying in the location, you can move to whatever city you would like to. You have 60 days to find a place to stay. It is very hard to find a good area to live in. Most of the time, you will be put in a wretched or bad area. Another problem is once you get on, you may not want to get off. I had this problem. I was scared to be paying rent by myself. I find myself thinking a lot of what ifs. What if I quit working and I can't pay the bills? What if I start making more money than I'm supposed to make? Then I will get kicked out the program. So what I would say is use it as a stepping stone if you really need the help. I really feel bad for these families because I was once in their shoes. I know how it feels to not know if you're going to have a place to stay. I hope that they get the help that they need. How do you feel about this situation? Let me know in the comments. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.